Okay, this um, video is on concavity with respect to sketching graphs by hand in calculus. And um, we're going to go over the concavity test and we're going to put in a concave function, you know, or a function to so we can check concavity, check concave up, concave down. And uh, so let's get started. You have to press second alpha to get into my menu, and then you have to add I N D E X, you know, for the letters, and then you press alpha, and then you put in the number eight, and then the close parentheses, left and right parentheses, and you press enter, and we're into the menu. <clears throat> we're interested in concavity, so we're going to go to number eight here, press number eight. And here we have the different uh, different things that we can do with the function as we enter the function. Um, so I always tell people to start your graph paper, start on your, you know, because this is on a test, and you're going to put your graph in here so that you can mark these different points on the graph as you go. Uh, we're going to enter the function. Let's let's enter here alpha. Um, you have to enter alpha before you enter anything here. x cubed minus 6 times x squared plus 9 times x plus 2. And it shows you what we've entered. You can say OK or change it. I say it's OK. And then we're going to choose number two, concavity, or press number two button, and we're into concavity. I show you the definitions of concave up or down. You notice that this is a maximum point up here, and so then we're going to have a concave down. And if this is a minimum point, you're going to have concave up. Uh, we're involved in the second derivative, so we find the second derivative of the function x cubed minus x, 6x squared plus 9x plus 2. And we find our first um, first x, what x equals, which is actually the um, critical point, or inflection point, I'm sorry, inflection point of the x value. You can find the inflection point of uh, another part of the program. So but then we, we have to uh, have a number greater than 2 inflection point to see whether that's concave up or down. We entered into the into the second derivative uh, 6 times 3 minus 12 and we come up with 6 and that's positive so concave up. And then we're going to get a number less than the inflection point of x, uh, less than 2, choose 1 and the second derivative, we plug that in the second derivative. You mark this stuff on your paper as you're going don't leave anything out. Of course, everything's partial credit in calculus, so anything you mark down correctly, you get credit for it. Uh, and this, because it's a negative 6, it equals a concave down. So I show you that from infinity to 2, it's concave down. Here's the inflection x point. And above that, 2 to infinity is concave up. Pretty neat, huh? Everystepcalculus.com. Check out my site. Check out my programs. You'll love them.